I hope that you're as tone deaf as me because we're gonna make the Nabu sing. I was <laughs> looking through the manual and I came across the sound chip and I was like, you know what? I don't have any files yet from anywhere. So let's try using some of my C code that I've been working on this compiler for. So this is all in C, compiling it, boom, boom. Here, I'm um, gonna take my program, build it, and it's built. Now let's take a look. We can see it here. Uh, it's 1K, it's 524 bytes. We'll load up the server here and watch how fast this loads now. You ready? I'll push the reset button and, oop, that's the power button. Okay, I can't show you how fast it loads now because you have to wait for the boot up process, but I'll show you in a second. <laughs> so, <laughs> just a real quick little absolutely nothing program, a couple lines of code. Um, there's a little song up here, loops through it, and does its magic. Every time I push a key, it just takes <laughs> the key. I tried to get some decent uh, tones out of it, but yeah, so as far as how quickly it loads, um, yeah, it's super fast. Like, check this out. So I'm, I'm get, I removed all, blah, blah, blah. I removed all the delays from my program so that my communication is full speed. Here we go. Look at that. That was actually a load. That was not from resident in memory. And to prove it, I'll step back here. You can watch the server program here and you can watch the screen. You ready? One, two, three. Oh, of course, it's gonna let me down this time. Oh, I forgot to reset the, yeah, yeah. ignore what I just said. There, you got to see it. <laughs> okay, so what happened is right now I have the program set up so it just goes into this infinite loop that displays any characters come out of the HCA port. So you can see them down there. It's just debugging for the time being. Uh, so I have to push my reset button to restart it. So now I can show you how fast it is. Ready? I'll push the reset button on the, on the NABU and you're gonna see how quickly it loads. Isn't that great? So what we'll be able to do um, once this program, we'll package it up and make it a little bit you know, smaller of a screen format. You can probably put it on like an LCD for a Raspberry Pi or an ESP32. There's a lot of those, um, I can't remember what they're called. I use them for my, uh, couple other projects I did, one for my hot tub controller and one for my my um, propane fireplace at my cabin. I'll cover some of these projects because it sounds like you guys are interested in this stuff. So we can make a little device that'll allow you to select which NABU source you want to run from. So we're going to get, and we're working on it right now, we're going to get the original NABU um, programs. So you're going to be able to run NABU Vanilla. And that's going to be unaltered. That's just going to be what you see is what you get. But then we're gonna have another channel, another port, which will be open, which allows people to upload their own public domain software to our NABU server online. And then we'll generate a menu, and then people will be able to choose from a menu of what apps they wanna run that have been uploaded by public people. So if somebody wants to make a game, since we're gonna have all this nice C compiler already for you guys, um, people will be able to do that, yeah. So pretty stoked. You ready to rock out again? One more time. 